Hi everyone, I'm Paul with New Egg TV, and this is the Antec Cooler Box Aftermarket Heat Sink Fan. So we're gonna, just going to be doing a quick overview and unboxing of this heat sink fan today. And so there's a look at the outside of the box. Uh, first of all, let's take a look at CPU support. We have Intel Core i7 for LGA1366 sockets. It will also support Intel Core i5s and i3s on the LGA1156 sockets. Also the forthcoming Sandy Bridge platform, which uses socket 1155 sockets, uh, it will also be compatible with those. Uh, down here we move on to the LGA775, the older socket type. It is compatible for Core 2 Extremes, Core 2 Quads, Core 2 Duos, as well as Pentium Ds. Uh, finally down here for the AMD side, we have compatibility with socket AM3 and AM2+. Plus. Uh, for the Phenom 2, also for the Athlon 2, uh, socket AM3 and AM2, and for the Sempron AM3 and AM2 as well, and for the standard AMD Phenom, socket AM3 and AM2. There's all your compatibilities. Here on the front you can see that it has an 8 heat pipe design, it also has a 120 millimeter, 120 millimeter PWM fan, uh, and then finally over here, uh, it is made of aluminum. There are 6 uh, by 8 heat pipes, it's also got the 120 millimeter fan as mentioned. The fan speed is 700 to 2000 RPMs. Uh, and with pulse width modulation, you can use your motherboard's uh, four pin fan plug to connect and control that uh, through the motherboard. So that's about it for the outside of the box. Let's take a look at what comes inside the box. So here's your clamshell packaging to keep your heatsink fan nice and protected. There are several different mounting kits to, be, to maintain compatibility with all those different socket types that were listed on the box. Also right here is a little uh, preset item of thermal compound that you can use to apply thermal compound to make sure. Uh, always apply thermal compound when installing a third party heatsink fan and always remember to clean off any existing thermal compound that's already on there. Here is your uh, instruction manual, step by step. It does include handy photos so that you can make sure that you are proceeding through the installation correctly. Oop, there you go. Before we move on to the heatsink fan, here is one more kit of installation brackets, and this is for your socket 1156 and 775 uh, motherboard socket types. And then there's a look at the heatsink fan itself. Down here you can see the eight copper heat pipe design. It also has a direct contact copper heat pipes at the bottom, which has proven to be very effective for cooling efficiency. Up here you can see the aluminum fins on the heatsink fan itself. It has an enclosed, uh, this is actually a brushed metal on the top with some plastic, uh, some plastic side fans, I'm sorry. Some plastic coverings on the side that's protecting the fan, which is inside those, which you can sort of tell. And then they also give you a nice sticker here indicating which way the airflow should go. Uh, back here you have your plug for your PWM plug on your motherboard to install in your CPU header. And that pretty much wraps it up for our unboxing and overview of the Antec Cooler Box Aftermarket Heatsink Fan. Thanks for watching, everyone.